What's up guys, welcome back. Today we are doing lip combos. I'm so excited about this one because lip combos are a question that I get all the time and I'm usually using a variation of some of the products we're gonna talk about today. So all of the liners and all of the glosses and lip treatments that I use can be interchangeable and they can all work together which is my favorite part about this. I am so excited because lips are like my favorite thing to do. They just change the look of everything. I think you guys are gonna really enjoy this one. We have tons of liners. We have tons of glosses, a couple lip treatments. And like I said, they're all interchangeable. I wanted to give you guys some high end, some drugstore, some clean, a bunch of different options so that you can find the best lip combo for you. So if you want to see what I've been using lately, and I also included my technique of how I line my lips and how I do the whole process in this video. So you can learn that as well. So if you want to see that, then keep on watching. Okay, so let's start. We have a couple different price points and we have a couple different types of shades. So I'm gonna try and put most of them on for you guys. The one liner I have been using the most lately in the last like week is this guy right here. This is the Nude Sticks. I'm sorry, I did that in my last video too. It's the NYX Nude Beige Lip Liner. Here's the color right here. It is so pretty. Let's zoom you in. We're gonna do a bunch of different lip combos today. Okay, how's that? Are we close enough? I feel like we're very close. So I think this is good, okay. All right, so Nude Beige. You guys have seen me apply this before, but I want all these lip co combos all in one place for you. So I'm gonna just apply a bunch of them. So here's Nude Beige. You can see it's very similar tone to my natural lip color. It's just a little bit darker, a little more mauvey purpley mauvey so it's perfect so this is also how i've been lining my lips so to start i do the cupid's bow you can see i'm kind of just like filling that in i'm not doing a full like round circle like a lot of people bring this up i'm just kind of filling this line in i'm going to going straight across and then i'm following once i get to this tip right here i'm following my natural lip line down and I'm going all the way in to the corner. If you don't go into the corner, it ends up looking weird to me. Like it doesn't look finished and we don't want that. So this side of my mouth is always super easy because the left side of my mouth is more full than the right side. So then I'm starting down here, right where we picked up the product, we're going back down on the bottom, left side of my lip and again, following that natural lip line. If there's ever a, a mistake, you just kind of blend it and kind of like rub it. I really like the blended look as well. So usually once I do a pretty, a relatively defined line, I will kind of blend it in and get it a little bit softer. I just like the look of that better, okay? So now we're done this side. For the bottom of my lower lip, I go a little bit lower. That's just gonna give more of a pout and it's gonna make that bottom lip look a little bigger. So you can see, just comparing like this to this, totally different. So we're really just perfecting the shape. So now, if you have symmetrical lips, you can just follow that lip line on the bottom. Even though we went a little lower here, we're gonna pick it back up and follow that natural lip line. Like I said, the right side is a little bit more thin, so I am overlining a little bit on the right side just to make them symmetrical, not necessarily just to overline. And then this side is my nemesis because I have to overline more than I would like to to make them symmetrical. And I feel like I don't even ever know if it's truly symmetrical until I watch footage back on a video or watch a video back of myself because I can see it then. But in a mirror, I can barely tell. And don't forget to bring this all the way in, into the corner. So you don't wanna go over lining all from like here to here because you're gonna look a little bit like a clown. Like I said, I have to on this side, but I try my best not to do too much. I'm just trying to make them even. 
All right, so that is the lip line complete. My next step is filling in the corners. So I fill in all these triangles here, 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 those four. And I leave the, less, the rest of my lip bare. Leaving this bare, this and this, is going to make your lips appear larger because we're kind of thinning out thinning it out back here and this is going to look like a larger pout it's basically just like contouring your lips it's subtle but it makes a difference you can also do like concealer to really brighten it up but that's i don't do that that's, that's an extra step how beautiful is the first of all the shade but also the finish of this lip liner i'm obsessed with it also look at my nail i'm not flipping you off but isn't that so sad so sad i need to get my nails fixed all right so now probably my all-time favorite is gloss am i really saying that i think i am for this type of really glossy juicy lip is the fenty gloss bomb in the shade sweet mouth it is so good you guys this is my lip combo for everything lately any like thing i'm going to this is what i do so just apply start in the middle look at this shade Oh, and it feels so good. It's stunning. It's like this iridescent but clear gloss and it blends everything together. All that liner just blends and melts. It is not sticky. It is just gorge. So there you have it. That is my first most common at the moment lip combo that I've been loving. Let's do another one. Okay, next up we're going to do Kosas. And this is in the shade 100. I think it's sold out right now, but it is so good. I had to mention it. So here is that shade on the lips. Same exact technique. Always good to keep like a little Q-tip handy just to clean up any edges. Okay, so you can see that is a much more pinky nude. I love it though. It's such a good pinky nude. And then... I'm going to do also Kosas. This is Jellyfish. This is their lip oil, which is an incredible lip product. And it's the shade Jellyfish, which is this shade right here. It's so pretty. Similar vibe to that Fenty one where it has that, like, it's clear, but it has this iridescence to it. And this product is completely different than the Fenty Gloss Bomb. It's a much lighter um, feel on the lips because it's an oil. It's not a gloss but it feels a little glossier than just a straight oil. So here is that one. I absolutely adore this. Just wanted to make sure we got a good shot of that. And I also wanna mention, this feels like silk on the lips. That's how nice that lip oil is. It's moisturizing, so it's so, so, so nice. I like don't even wanna wipe this off right now, but I'm going to. Also kinda of love that it wipes right off. This is a erase your face little pad and all you need to use it is water and it takes your makeup right off. It's not just a standard, you know, thingy. Okay, I could not do this video without including Charlotte Tilbury iconic nude. I just couldn't, didn't feel right, felt, felt wrong. So we're doing that right now. Let's zoom in a bit. You see how easily and beautifully that just glides on? Like it's really insane. I also love that you can really blend these with your fingers if you want. How gimpy is this hand? I can't even. Also in my opinion, this lip liner is the best for overlining because it it's the most natural looking lip liner if you want to overline because it actually just looks like like you're just, it's called the lip cheat. It's like you're cheating your lip. Some other lip liners, you can see where you've overlined and we don't want that. We want it to just look like our lips. These are the best lip liners, I think, ever. <laughs> they are just so like velvety on the lips. On top of that, we're gonna do the Lifter Gloss from Maybelline. This is way too easy. Way too easy how good this gloss is. It's incredible. This is the shade Ice. Again, similar vibe to the last two. I know what I like. But by doing these types of shades, these types of nudie brown pink liners, 
and then just a clear gloss you're letting that lip liner be the star of the show and that's what i love because you can still kind of see my natural lip color a little bit because i'm not just covering the entire thing with lipstick and i feel like that is a way to make it just look a little bit more you it just suits you more it's not like a totally flat wash of color if that makes sense i want you guys to get the whole vibe like the whole look so you can see we see what we're working with i did too much eyeshadow today for these strong strong lips but we're gonna keep going i don't want to take it off it makes me so sad oh god i love that lip liner that's the all-time it's the all-time best it's also very hard to take off, which tells you it's going to last. All right, next we're gonna do dibs. I'm gonna use the shade On The Rose. Actually, before I do that, I'm going to use the definer pencil. So these are very cool because if you haven't seen these before, you can put them together and you can have the definer on one side and the liner on the other side. So if you want that extra third step, this is like, gonna take your lip game to the next level. I'll zoom you back in. We're just gonna put this shade, this is that definer shade here, and smudge. This is actually the shade medium and I like the lightest shade the best. I'm just all out of it and I can work with this one. This one's just a little too warm for me. The other shade's a more a cooler tone, which is better for my skin tone. But look at that, just that adds such definition. We're gonna do that up here on the cupid's bow as well kind of like inside the cupid's bow, if that makes sense. And then I'm gonna smudge that. And that just makes such a difference. If I had my other shade, I would probably line more of my lips with it, but it's, this one's just not the right shade, but I absolutely love the lightest shade. And then this is the lightest liner, again, on the rose. It's such a pretty pink. Okay, there you have it. And then I'm gonna use the clear dibs gloss this is the shade wit but it's also just their clear shade it's a brand new one sometimes i'll grab my foundation brush suck my lips in and then tap around my lips just to clean up any weird spots okay so there you have it i love this one it is so it's just like the cutest pink and it just it's really good with my coloring and so if you have similar coloring to me you'll love it and i really wish i had the definer shade to show you guys it's worth it getting both if you're looking at dibs i also have a discount code with them i will i believe it's just with sarah but i'll it might be with sarah 15 i'll put it down below with my link i love love okay a couple more i also have to show you guys dibs shade three because it's so gorgeous, similar to the nude sticks, but a little different. Okay, with this one, since it's a little bit darker, I wanna use a pink gloss. So I'm gonna use my NYX Butter Gloss, and this is the shade Creme Brulee. This combo is so good too. If you are looking for a good gloss at the drugstore, like I said, the Maybelline Lifter Gloss is so good, but the NYX Butter Glosses are amazing as well. They're not as like juicy as the Lifter Gloss, but they are so comfortable and like look how pretty the combination of those two colors is. I love it, I love it. And I wear creme brulee with any of these liners. Like I said, they're all interchangeable. So there is that one. Okay, my last liner is going to be the Makeup by Mario liner. This is the shade Smoky Pink. There's the shade right there. This one's also very similar to my lip color, which I love. One thing I love about these is they come with a little brush on the back end. So you can just flip it around and blend with that brush which is so nice because it's just more precise than your finger. You don't have to grab a separate lift brush from over here, you know, in your brush collection. Honestly, that on its own is stunning. You can tell that's very close to my lip color, so I feel like it looks pretty natural. The best way to clean up and make that lip liner perfect is to grab your foundation and a small brush. You want something pretty precise if you can. 
and just a teeny little bit on the back of your hand and you can clean it up and make it perfect. See what a different that difference that makes. My lips are getting a little irritated, so my lip line isn't as clear as it was when we started this video, but okay. Now I'm gonna use for this one, what did I do, Mario? Yeah, I'm gonna show you guys the Tarte Maracuja Lip Pump, Lip Plump something, whatever, Lip Plump in Cherry Blossom. It is so pretty. And look how it glides on. This is why I said this like kind of falls between gloss and I don't know, lip treatment. It has like a purpley tint to it. It plumps, it's tingling right now, but in like a very subtle way. It's not like a weird chemically tingle. What do you guys think about this one? Honestly, I think this, now that I'm like putting all these on today, I think that cherry blossom will look amazing, amazing with my nude stick, uh, my nude iconic nude lip cheat from charlotte but also the nyx one that i used at the beginning because it's like that mauvey pink but i can't stress enough all of these are interchangeable it really just depends what you like the most i didn't show you guys a couple other ones that i was planning to show you but i really think it's fine i think you get the gist other lip treatments that i love that i didn't show you that are not a color so the liners are really the most important thing and i showed you all the glosses that are some, like a shade the lawless lip treatment is incredible love to use that with any of these liners as well as the road lip treatment this one's so so comfortable and then the kosis collagen lip balm is really really amazing i might need to show you it uh it's just so juicy i'm not gonna show you it because i know this video is already really long okay we're gonna do one more so last one i put on the iconic nude lip liner again because it's so so good probably my favorite from this video and then i've been dying to show you guys this hourglass i should know what things are called before i tell them to you hourglass i forget it's gonna be linked for you similar to the tart but different and this is the shade mist how pretty is that pink? And I feel like it just makes your lips look so juicy. I love that color combo so much. So I'm going to wrap it up with that. I could keep going guys, but I have to stop. I don't want to give you too many products. If I had to pick one all time nude liner favorite, it would be Iconic Nude from Charlotte Tilbury. And if I had to pick one gloss, God, that's so hard. I'm leaning Fenty Gloss Bomb but they're also good, you guys. They're also good. That hourglass is incredible. And if you don't want like a really shimmery one, like Sweet Mouth is a little shimmery. So this one's really, really good if you just want like a glossy pink. Okay, so those are my current favorite lip combos. I know that's a lot of different products, guys. I just wanted to give you a variety of drugstore, high-end, clean, affordable, not whatever. Like I just wanted to give you a bunch of options. And these really are all my favorite, favorite ones. I keep grabbing, grabbing for every time I do a lip, it's some combination of these. So as always, everything will be linked for you guys below. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I will see you next time. Bye.